I'm Rika from Rika's Crafty Creations, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to decorate a mantle for Christmas. So stay tuned. house and I'm going to show you a couple of materials that we're going to use. One, we're going to put some bows on either end of the mantle. So I've already created a bow here and what I've done is I've created some long tails that you can see on this one. So I'm going to do that with you guys today. So I have the extra roll of ribbon and I believe I'm just going to use what's left on it. We'll see. So actually we have a little bit more, so it's nice. So I'm just going to take the actual ribbon itself and just pull it up here and see how far I want it to come down. So I think that length is gonna be fine and I'm gonna take some scissors as soon as I can find them. So take some scissors and I'm just going to cut this at an angle. Perfect. All right, and then I'm just gonna hold that in my hand. And I'm gonna make this double tails so I have my silver ribbon here, and what I'm gonna do is basically the same thing. I'm just gonna take a length of this and just put it in half. I want it to be a little bit longer than my blue ribbon, and I think that will work out just fine. So I'm just gonna come down here, and I'm gonna cut this at an angle as well. I like to cut my ribbons at an angle because I reuse my ribbons every year. You can also dovetail it. And that's where you just make the little V at either end of the ribbon. So I'm just gonna take these two strips of ribbon and they're just two strips just like this. And they don't have to be even, it's very much okay. I'm gonna take this and I have my pipe cleaner in the back of my bow. I've twisted it so I could secure my bow, but I can just untwist that or I can just scrunch this right in the middle, put it right in my pipe cleaner, just like this, and just twist it. Just like that, easy peasy. Now, I'm gonna fluff my bow back out, make it nice and pretty, and just alternate the loops. I think that's gonna work out really pretty. And then I am just gonna come to the other end of the mantle and I'm gonna go underneath the garland itself so that this bow is not flopping around. So I'm gonna go around the spine of the mantle, it's of the garland itself and secure this on. And I'm just going to tie it on here. Okay, now we have our bow on and we're just going to straighten all this out. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with the tails in just a bit. So just bring your fingers through here through each of the loops and just fluff them up with your fingers. Really cannot mess this up. So my loops are um, the silver and the blue are six, six loops a piece. And then my, I've got three on either side, so that's where the odd numbers come in, okay? So I've got three on either side. It gives me a nice full bow. And then my center, my white, is three loops. So I have that, and then just run your fingers along the wired um, edges of the tails, and that will make them, uh, give them a nice curl to them. So I have some nice tails here, I love that. And then with my long tails, I'm gonna twist it so that the shiny side is showing. My long tails, I kinda just want just a long kind of swoop, but I can curl them, this is wired. So that will keep its shape a lot better. So I just kind of treat it like a, the curling iron. And I am just making some big curls in this ribbon. And because it's wired, it will stay. It will keep that shape for much longer. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my blue ribbon. So you can see just, just adding the ribbon by itself is very, very pretty, very simple. I'm gonna add some white and silver ribbon on the body of the garland to bring that in a little bit. And then what we're also going to do 
is we're going to add, I've made some ornament clusters here. So I'm going to add these throughout the garland as well. And then we'll look and see where we stand. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. left over in my stash which is a gift to my friend is I've got some extra picks because this is cute and it's simple and if this is your style then honey go for it you can leave it this is a stopping point you want to leave it like this by all means but we're gonna kick it up just a little bit so I've got these picks right here and I like to accent my corners so I'm gonna take some hot glue but right now I'm just gonna place it and show you I'm gonna go under the ribbon look at that isn't that cute I love that. So I'm going to do that on either side and I can just go under my bows and just slide these picks in here. And we're going to see if I want to do one on the top of this ribbon or maybe one coming directly underneath. We can certainly do one coming direct. Look at how cute that is. I love it. I love it. If, um, if I was at home not doing it for a client, I could just tuck them in. You see that they stay just like that. And we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to take some of the branches of the garland and tie it around here to secure it. There we go. We'll fluff this back out. And if you have, this one's just sitting up here, but definitely you want to secure this. So some command hooks, something heavy. Uh, one of my friends had like a little angel, so she put it up here. And then with this one, it's coming off to the side. So I'm going to put it in here and then once again, I'm going to take some of the branches of the garland and I'm going to secure it with some of the branches of the garland so that it doesn't come out. When it moves around, it won't fall down. And just fluff your bow out again. And I think that we are cooking with gas. So I wanted to share one trick with you before we left. If you don't want to glue in your stems and picks because you reuse them every year, I took a pipe cleaner and I'll do it again with you guys. So I took just a regular, the full pipe cleaner itself, okay, I didn't cut it at all. And I'm gonna find a place in the pick where I can attach this. And I'm just going to do it just like a twist tie. I'm just going to tie it on here and then what this does is this gives me some connectors so I can connect this onto the garland. So I'm going to come up behind the bow. You see that we've moved our bear up here. She's so cute. I'm going to come behind the bow and I'm going to find um, where I want it and find a piece of the garland that I can tie this onto. And I'm going to do just a twist tie behind here, maybe three twist. So get that on there nice and tight. Perfect, it's wonderful, I can fix that and I can tuck that in. And yeah, none of the stuff is breakable, so we're just gonna fluff this out again. Let's make this stand. And then here on these, because once they're not glued in just yet, I can take a piece of the garland here and then just tie it around because remember the garland, each branch of these garlands is wired. So that fell out, not your problem. I'm gonna get another pipe cleaner. Use the whole one. Find a place in here where I can connect it. And notice I'm using a coordinating color so that even if you do see a little bit of the pipe cleaner, it's gonna go with the overall aesthetic of the garland so nothing is jarring. Um, I did speak with her about her red. Um, since we're doing blue and white and silver, we might want to switch out our um, our stockings. I am all about having more than one stocking. If Santa wants to put, you know, 
some extra stuff and a stocking around the house that is fine with me so we might move these and put these in a different place of the house it goes with that color scheme and then put some other ones that match here it's not a problem she's got some wonderful aesthetics around so that is great 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 we're going to come up under the bow and then we're going to find a place where we can connect the pipe cleaners and there's a branch right here so i'm just going to tie it right around here one two three i'm gonna tuck in my tail so you can choose to cut those and now that it's secure i can choose to move it around within my bow put it in front of my ribbons and i think i'm really really liking that and this my friend is a cute easy easy way to do your mantle without breaking the bank and we're going to do that again on the other side i'm just going to call them just like the pig curls, roll it up and then just pull it out just like that. So pretty, so pretty. And then these tails are a bit long. I do like them long, but we're probably gonna cut them just, just a bit. So let's see, all that gravity is pulling on them. So let's see, we're gonna do the same thing. The curls just make it look nice and lush. And I just, I love that. Love it, love it, love it. All right, well, I'm going to judge just a little bit more and then give you guys one last look at it, and we'll be done. Thank you.